Hello guys, welcome to Jula Softwares. Today we are going to see employee management system. Prerequisites for this video. Basic knowledge about Python. In this video, I am going to show the create, read, search, update, and delete the employee details. I am using Excel as a database. Let's go to the actual development. I am going to create the file ems.py. Let's import OpenPy XL, Pandas, OS. Since our application database is Excel, I am going to write the function for loading the Excel sheet with input parameter workbook path. First we will check the path exists or not, otherwise it will throw the exception. Now return the workbook object. If the file is not exist, return the message, file not found. Now assign the workbook path, employee.xlsx. To get the workbook result call the function with input parameter. For getting the particular sheet result use workbook of sheet. Keep the workbook active so we can read and write at any stage. For adding employee details, I am going to create one function that is create employee. Assign a variable for storing the employee name data of birth mail ID. Just append the details to the sheet and save the workbook. After completion print message, employee details added successfully. Now we are going to add some code to this function for adding one more employee. Write a variable with input message wants to add more employee. If the user input is yes, call the create employee function. Now write the while loop to run the code continuously. Print our console app title employee management system. And the first option create employee. To capture user input assign the variable ch with input message, enter the option. If user chooses the option 1, it will call the create employee function, else it will breaks the loop. This is my employee.xlsx file and keep the file in same folder as your python file. Go to the new terminal, and execute the ems.py file. I am choosing option 1. Let's fill the employee details. I am getting the error. Let's check this. Sorry guys, I forgot to add the split method in the input. Yes, it working fine. Type no. I don't want to add more employee now. Now I am going to add one more function for view employee details. For reading the Excel I am going to use pandas read Excel function. And print the employee list. Now come to the while loop. Print the view employee option. If the option is 2, it will call the view employee function. Now we will check this one. I am getting another error, let me check that, change this to pd. Now try this method again. 
Yes, this is working. For updating the employee details first have to search the employee first, for that we need the rows and columns count. In search function take the name as input parameter. Iterate through all the rows. Check the cell value with the input parameter name. If both the values matches, print employee found. And return the row value. To display the employee which is found in the search function. Now iterate through the row. And get the every cell value of the row and print it. Ok now I am going to write the function for update employee with input parameter row. For updating the employee details. Create the function update employee with input parameter row. Get the input details from user and store it in variable x. In the for loop add enumeration with variable x. and replace the new values in the sheet. I am going to end this function with message. Employee details updated successfully. Now go to the while loop and add the option update employee. First call the search function for that we need the employee name so get the employee name. Store the result of search function in the variable. And call the display employee function. Before updating the employee details ask the confirmation. Wants to edit the employee? Yes or no? If yes call the update employee function. Now move to the terminal and check this functionality. Execute the file and choose the option 3. Let's type the employee name, I am getting some error. Here at max row plus 1 because while reading from Excel it includes the index value also. Now run the code again. Choose the option 3. Enter the employee name. Type yes. Enter the employee details. Yes it is working. For deleting, I am going to write the delete function with input parameter row. I am using the delete function of sheet to delete the row. And save the workbook. I am going to end this function with message, employee details deleted successfully.
In while loop add the option for delete employee. I am going to copy paste the update employee code here. And edit in these two place. Run the code again to check the delete functionality. Choose the option for, enter the employee name. Type yes. Yes it is working. I will show you, how to add GUI for this application in the upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe the Jula Software's channel and press the bell icon.